Bone 23 videos. So nice to see you here. This is episode 4 of the Pure Orsama Berserker build. We have finally arrived in Riverwood, but with a full gear of upgraded heavy steel soldier armor. <laughs> Let's get what this place has to offer for an orc who will only trade with other orcs. And he has not found one yet. Here we go. Hey, Hod. You got business here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse. I have firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. Until next time. Oh. Or should I keep it? Let's keep it for now. These things are hard to find if you need them. Hey, Alvor. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Do you have any supplies I could take? Of course. Take what you need. Not bad. Don't need the rings. There's something you could do for me. What is for it? For all of us here. Uh huh. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okie dokie. Do you need any help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Aye. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. And let's do this quickly. We all know the routine. Smithing to 23. Nice. Yeah? I've tempered the hide helmet. You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Of course. I don't need that. Or that. Mm -hmm. Alvor and Sigrid's house. Did you really see a dragon? Yes, I did. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem alright. Well, I am alright. I guess. And I'm allowed to take free stuff. Not the red one. Just the free stuff. I need garlic. Oh, I cannot do this in third person. I don't know about you, but I am really bad playing in third person. Um, snowberries, very good. Let's cook something. Venison stew. I can make one. Vegetable soup. I can make three. Oh, interesting. Venison stew doesn't have tomatoes in it.
and rabbit haunch. Six times. Great. I will not run out of food anytime soon. You're kind of fuzzy. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Out of my way, stranger. Hard not to have a drink on me. Got any ale or mead? Yeah. No ale, no meat. All right then. Did you hear me? Yep. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's head. already mine. I keep telling him. Make sure we get a fresh Is this about a girl? Camilla oh, Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Hmm, yes, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Oh, that sounds mean. I'd better get... Let's read that. Dear Camilla, I know I have called upon you at your house many times, and while we may be growing close, I need you to put any desires you may have for me aside. I am a true-born son of Valenwood, and I could never befoul my bloodline by courting an imperial. I hope you can remain true friends, provided you understand your people's place in the Altmeri Dominion and respect me as such. Sincerely, Heindel. Hmm. Got business here in Riverwood, eh? There are worse villages. You're that visitor, Ben. Everything here is free. Let's make use of that. No red stuff. You just find <laughs> that lying <laughs> you are so small. Must be your lucky day. Which means, wow, I'm really big. <laughs> Don't need a room. But freebies, I want. Whatever I can get. You have a lot of bread here. Alright. What's that? What's blue here? I'm just a cook, lad. Oh. I think that's it. Is this open? Yes. Because these are friends too. Hello. I heard Luke and Young the other day about a thief breaking into a store. It wasn't me, honest. Yeah, why would you? Not bad. Lucan over in the Riverwood trade is the thief's. Whatever you wanted to say, I don't know.
Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No hey, Camilla. Maybe no you could talk some sense no into my pig-headed brother. Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter was from Feindel. I'm not doing that stuff. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Feindel wrote this? Yes. Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Feindel as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Of course. All right then. All right. Before I forget, let me collect this. It's free. Let's visit our favorite elf. Hey, Fendel. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Sven. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Sounds good. 25 gold. Good. All right, then. Let's collect. This place got looted. Okay. That's it already. Divine smile on you, friend. Bye-bye. Which reminds me, is that not a real barrel? It is. Okay. Do I have tomatoes? 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 Let's leave. Is that a Luna Mothwing? Oh, I want that. I so want that. Come on, give it to me. Great. I don't think I can do this. The elk will just run away. A wolf. The wolf will not run away. Great. Because even with a dog, elk hunting is not easy.
Well fed. I'm looking for another corundum ore vein. Which is supposedly... was that? A silver garnet ring. Ah yeah. There it is. Will these guys stay there? Funny. Just because I'm not talking to them. Well, what can you do when you're not interested? Was it up here? Yes. Next one. Oh, carrying too much already. But not by much.
All right. Forget it. If that thing doesn't get stuck, not a chance. Okay. Let's make more steel. Forty-one. I think there is a woodcutter's block here. There it is. I want two rounds of firewood. Good. And let's make camping supplies. One leather, three firewood. You know what? Let's make more of that. Let's use the camping supplies. I need to sleep somewhere, right? Build a campsite right here. Let's sleep. Four, six hours should be fine. Point into health, of course. I have two perk points. One goes into Barbarian. And one goes into Juggernaut. I'm rested. Good. Let's 
Let me take a look at the garden. Nothing yet. Oh. This is an empty spot. It won't work anyway. I think. Now we'll see. Let's collect more ore. Did I already collect the gold ore here? No. Did I collect these? Nope. Okay. Let me plant one dragon's tongue. I'm in combat. Nice. There is supposed to be another corundum over in here.
Can I catch that deer? If I can trap him... Ah, forget it. Nice. And while I'm here, there are bandits here. Here they are. Good. I did not hit the guard. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horror comes here. Will Betty. Tomatoes. Brigands, I can. But this talk of dragons? World's gone mad, I say. Do not unlock this chest. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his been drawn. Ah, don't get nervous. I mean you no harm. There is supposed to be another corundum ore vein. Oh, right here. And an iron ore vein in this direction. But finding that or not will be an issue for the next episode. Especially because of that bandit camp right ahead. Should I attack them or better stay away? Or even more importantly, should I open their treasure chest and risk a bandit mage appearing? Well, I haven't made up my mind yet. Tell me what you think I should do in the comments. We already collected a lot of ore and in the next episode we will finally visit Whiterun. Get things started there, you know, Dragonstone and such. If you enjoyed this one, please consider leaving a comment, a like and a subscription to yours truly. It makes a difference. Have a great time and take good care.